This is BBC World News. I'm Yalda Hakim. Our top stories. After a two-month-long coronavirus closure, the New York Stock Exchange reopens its trading floor. Brazil stands by its decision to use a malaria drug to fight coronavirus, despite safety concerns from the World Health Organization. The row over Boris Johnson's top advisor continues as the government minister resigns over Dominic Cummings' long trip during the coronavirus lockdown. Plus, the first private company in history prepares to send astronauts to the International Space Station, weather permitting, of course. Hello and welcome to BBC World News. We begin with a moment of symbolism in the fight to reopen the US economy. The floor of the New York Stock Exchange has reopened for business for the first time in two months. It's been closed since the end of March as New York City became one of the hotspots in the coronavirus pandemic. Now, one quarter of traders have signed a waiver allowing them to return to the world famous trading floor. Well, let's go straight to our correspondent Samira Hussein, who's in New York for us. Samira, usually we